one. All right, what's going on, guys? So I had the weirdest dream ever last night, like literally ever. I don't know. Um, and I'm just waking up right now. So I want to kind of document this dream. So yeah, it's probably going to get a little weird. So stay with me. And if I like forget what happened in the dream, then um, I guess I'll just talk about something else. But so um, the beginning of the dream starts out, it was per perfectly normal. Well, normal as normal goes. Um, uh, I, I don't know if it was me or if it was somebody else, but I was like an aide in like a woman's uh, living area, like a woman's living environment. Kind of like, I don't know, I've been watching that show Orange is the New Black. So similar to that, it was like prison, but this wasn't prison per se. And, um, you know, life was just life. Everybody had their own rooms and everybody slept, you know, in their own places. They had fun. They had activities to do. And it was just normal living for everybody. You know, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary. And then one day, I'm not sure if it was, again, me or if it was other random people because I was living the experience for that person. But, um... P, um, these males, they, they came in dressed up as women, and I'm not sure exactly for what reason they did that, but they lived in the house for a few years, you know, they lived in the, the prison house, whatever it may be, for quite a few years before anything, you know, started to go down, and you know, uh, it was kind of like that movie, um, I don't even remember, the movie with the Waynes brothers, where they like dressed up and everything, like, but these guys had good costumes so you wouldn't even have been able to tell and I think they were doing it for like just free food and free housing but it's not like they were disrespectful or anything and it's not like they were trying to get any you know poontang or anything like that because it was kind of like a center for old women but then shit started to go downhill um when the last like male woman arrived because this guy in particular he had um he had killed a police officer because, you know, he was in a chase or something like that. And um, to flee the scene, you know, he, he um, abandoned his car and then he like, he like literally, I don't know how or where he got it from, but he threw a grenade at a police officer. And um, it just like things, w things always in that place went from bad to worse somehow. So, you know, he came in and things just started feeling a little weird and um, eventually... The cops, uh, they found all of the male, like, women, I guess, in the house, and they kicked them all out. And then I guess a few years go by, because then randomly, um, I know it's going to sound weird, but randomly now I'm a girl, and I'm in this um, kind of like a university, like an academy, where it's like boarding school, I guess, but they teach you. Uh, they just teach you, like, random things. I'm not even sure. You, I, I don't know. It's comparable to, like, Harry Potter and Hogwarts and stuff like that. But it's all girls for some reason. And so, you know, this is a nice place. Like, it's beautiful. The campus is crazy. And it's, it's just so beautiful. And um, for some reason in this part of the dream, there's this one guy. He's, like, a freaking a big hairy guy. And, um... I don't know why, but for some reason, it is his mission to come to the school and just do harm to these girls. I don't understand why that is. And he always shows up unexpected. And um, it's like, for some reason, everybody is used to him showing up unexpected and just harming random girls. But um, let me give you a random backstory, like, you know, before. Because this is kind of getting close to the point where I woke up. Um, so I was hanging out. I don't know why, it sounds weird, I'm sorry, but in the dream, I was a girl, and I was hanging out with this other girl who was, for some reason, she, like, at one point was, like, suicidal or something, and she was carrying two knives in her mouth, and, yeah, I don't know why she was able to carry two knives in her mouth, that's a little f freaky, um, but for some reason, like, I was just sitting around with her, we were just talking, you know, just average, like, getting a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, I guess, and, um, like, the last time, like, these girls start coming back from from school or whatever, and um, she wants to hide her knives, but she has nowhere to put them. So she she puts them in her mouth, and I was like, okay, well, hopefully this won't go wrong. I've seen her do it, you know, a few times already. But then figures the last time she tries to do it to hide it from people, the knife gets stuck down her throat. 
And then somebody comes right in the room and just pulls it straight out of her mouth. Like that was the worst decision they could have ever made right there. You know, I know she was choking, but like you're not supposed to pull a knife out the way it came in. And um, she passes out that girl. And then like the headmaster comes or whatever. And then the headmaster is trying to save. Um, she's trying to save her life. They call an ambulance and everything. And guess who the fuck shows up? Oh my god, this was this was horrible. The 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 guy with the what is it? Um, who's trying to harm these girls for some reason? I have no idea why he shows up at this point in time. But like, he literally just like picks up this girl's leg without saying a word and just twists it, like completely twists it. And I don't know. For me, that was heavy. Like for me in the dream, as soon as he did that, there was just a boom. Um. But yeah, I'm, I guess I'll throw another gameplay over it just till I finish. But yeah, that was just like a boom. And uh, he just kept twisting her leg for some reason. And I thought to myself immediately, I'm like, wow, she's so lucky she's passed out. And like, nobody could do anything to this guy because one, he was a big guy. He was strong. And so there was that coupled with the fact that he, uh, he always had like a machete on him for some reason. And so, you know, he just kept on playing with this girl for some reason. He just kept on, like, breaking her bones or poking her eyes out and shit. It was so fucked up. I don't know why my brain does this to me when I'm sleeping. So then, like, finally, when he moves away from her, we try to, like, pick her up and, you know, just start walking her out to an ambulance because the campus is big. She's not going to make it if we don't start doing anything. And this guy's following us, chanting, like, these weird prayers. I don't know what he was talking about. And... Um, this dream was just odd, and that, that's kind of where I woke up, you know, um, so I guess, I don't know, I have very weird dreams, and if you like these types of dreams, if you want me to tell more at some point, then I will, but I don't think anybody's really gonna like this, because it's kind of like, eh, it's weird. Either way, guys, hope you enjoyed this commentary, I'll be back on Monday with more, and I am so, 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 so sorry I missed yesterday, I know I've been so terrible with keeping my own schedule, but, um, just keep up with me. I'll always get you content. Don't worry, guys. Thanks for sticking around, and peace out.